Oh, oh, oh. I know that laugh. It's Santa's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> They just want to give him love and understanding. They're literally going to wrap up nothing in a present to give to Chewbacca. No, it's not. Get, get him some ammo for his bowcaster. It's like you literally got to the Christmas party and go, oh crap, we forgot to get something for Chewbacca. Oh no! We just finished. Lock in your circuits again, quick. Well, finish it! I want more of this song! Well, the holiday season is in full swing, and I figured I would share with you guys some of my tips and tricks to make your celebration a little more Star Wars. I imagine a lot of you will probably be out playing in the snow, pretending that you're on Hoth, riding your Tauntaun, getting attacked by a Wampa, seeing visions of your dead friend. But while you're out there and making yourself a snowman, just use the two top balls of the snowman, take a carrot, put it on top, take those lumps of coal that you're gonna use for his eyes or a smile, whatever, Beep boop, and there you go. You have yourself a BB-8 snowman. Cha -cha. My mom has this tub underneath the guest bed that is full of like tissue paper, gift bags, all sorts of wrapping paper, little lace jazz and whatnot. And I find that every time I go to wrap a present, there's like barely enough to cover like that much of a thing. So I find myself with a lot of wrapping paper tubes on my hand. So what better use for your empty wrapper paving pap paper paper tubes? What better use for your wrapper What better use for your wrapping paper tubes? So what better use for your wrapping paper tubes than to have a lightsaber fight? There's like no room in here to swing this thing. Grab your grandpa or your grandma and on guard, cause it is out. Now I imagine there will be a lot of baking going on this holiday season, so when that fresh batch of cookies comes out of the oven, just sprinkle some midi chlorians on them, stab a hole through their gut, and you got yourself some Qui-Gon gingerbread cookies! Sure job, we'll eat them! For me, it is officially the holiday season when I take that first sip of eggnog. But Travis, what's Star Wars about eggnog? Well, I'm glad you asked, because if you just put a few drops of blue food coloring in there, you got Banthanog! I know a lot of you are probably very reluctant, but don't be afraid to watch the Star Wars Holiday Special. It's what a good fan would do. For every year that your dad sat you down and made you watch A Wonderful Life, I think it's time that you return the favor. Dash Rendar in the snow on a lone forsaken base. Would you let me over or I'll punch you in the face? But really guys, I think the most Star Wars thing you can do all season long is go see Rogue One! Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe to the videos. Check out new episodes of the Force Cult Podcast. And if you guys have questions for us on the show or for me here, you know where to send them. Ask at forcecult.com or straight over to me, aka Star Wars Kid. So go out into the world, be merry and bright. May the Force be with you. And don't you dare open those Death Star plants till Christmas morning, all right?